So welcome to the control room. This is where we have discussions and um, all the follow-up of uh, the, the facility. You can see here all the atmospheric system, uh, the different uh, modules, living module that we will visit, the medical module that we will see later, and everything is controlled from here. We can have the temperature, the oxygen ratio, the, the dioxide, carbon dioxide ratio too, um, all the important parameters are followed from here. And everything is sent back to the ground control. And now we can see all the rooms here. So we'll first present Diego's room. So I guess you, um, you not noted, you saw the Italian flag. Just after you have my room, I'm sorry, I don't have any French flag right now, but later I'm sure. And on the, on the back here, the kitchen, where we can share our meals, breakfast, dinner, lunch, together with the whole crew. And with a beautiful floor, because it's important. So, welcome to the medical module. This is our uh, workplace. and. Uh, this is a place where I will spend most of my time tomorrow doing some experiments with digest digestion. So here you can see some nice devices, for example the commands of uh, the Soyuz, the real ones, where we have to train and uh, see uh, if our skills are the same at the beginning and at the end of uh, the, this isolation study. We have a lot of uh, medical devices for heart rates, for um, ultrasounds for um, we also have some virtual reality um, well I'm sure that all of you knows more better than me all that stuff and this is where we have to leave the module if there is a fire so Diego you may talk about it because you trend and uh, you can go through yeah I the thing is that I may or may not fit in there <laughs> eventually. <laughs> so depends how much food we have to eat during this experiment. So here you have the greenhouse. And here. So again with some flowers and soon with some vegetables and uh, a lot of plants that we will grow and um, eat. But only after Mars, after we landed on Mars, we'll use this greenhouse. But we also have the storage module with a lot of food because 520 days it's a, a lot of things to eat, a lot of feature devices stored here. And uh, oh. hi guys, say guy. Hello. <laughs> Our Russian teammates who are right now preparing the lunch for tomorrow morning because we have a very precise diet and we need to eat exactly what is written on the menu. So we have to take 20 grams of that, 20 grams of this. And as you can see, the whole module is full, is filled sorry, with food. Mars 500 is being carried out by Russia's Institute of Biomedical Problems, with extensive participation by ESA and scientists across Europe. By demonstrating the physical and psychological demands of long-term isolation, which include a restricted diet, reduce sleep quality and hormonal effects, it will give scientists and engineers the experience they need to design future manned missions to Mars and the Moon. The isolation facility is made up of four interconnected modules, hermetically sealed from the outside world with its own air and ventilation system. A fifth module simulates the Martian surface. The so-called Marsonauts each have a separate small sleeping chamber and there is a communal living room. The 550 cubic meter facility also houses laboratories, a gym, a medical unit and an experimental greenhouse. The 520 day study will incorporate the various phases of a Mars mission and the facility is divided to replicate the experience of a separate transport vehicle and landing module. Halfway through their mission, the crew will be divided into two groups, 
and one will land on a simulated Mars to perform surface operations. During their stay, they'll also perform a series of experiments to test the responses of the human body to long-term confinement. The participants in the Mars 500 program have been chosen from a, from a wide range of professional backgrounds. They'll work together to be totally self-sufficient, taking responsibility for all maintenance and life support operations. As with a real interplanetary mission, they will have contact with friends and family as well as the ground support team. They'll have to deal with a number of mock emergency situations, in addition to coping with the many demands of prolonged isolation. The most difficult thing is, is the food. I mean, the food is good, but we have a very strict diet and we can't choose what we want to eat, when we want to eat. So sometimes um, I feel like eating some kind of you know, big hamburger or anything different, but I have to stick with, uh, with the menu. Astronauts on board the International Space Station now regularly stay in orbit for six months at a time. This has led to a great deal of data about the effects of microgravity and the space environment on the human body. When the Mars 500 study ends in November 2011, the effects of long-term confinement will also be better understood, taking ESA further towards its long-term goals of human space exploration. Today is cleaning day, and we've been cleaning the whole place. The living room is pretty much clean already, and here's Alexei, ready to continue cleaning the floor. And here's Roman, cleaning the microwave oven in the inside, with his special technique. Tell us about your special technique of cleaning the microwave. A special technique? Yeah. Um, well, I prepare a special product for 24 hours before and I let it melt together with uh, this uh, napkin. Wow. And, uh, in the end, I just... Uh, wow. I, I prepared a lot, you know. Wow, it's a professional, be careful. And look how the floors are now shiny and beautiful. Sukrov is now taking care of the bathroom. Hey Sukrov. He's listening to, to music. Oh yes, uh, yes, <laughs> yes. Чистота залог здоровья. Look how clean this place is now. It's brilliant and shiny. Pretty cool, huh? Eh?